हेलो एवन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल थैंक यू एवरी वन फॉर द टेन के सब्सक्राइबर्स इट रियली मीन्स अ लॉट टू मी अराउंड दिस फोर एंड हाफ फाइव मंथ्स ऑफ जर्नी ऑन यूट्यूब आई रियली एन्जॉयड एवरी बिट ऑफ इट आई लव टीचिंग एस क्यू एल लॉट ऑफ पीपल रीच आउट टू मी दैट योर एस क्यू एल वीडियोज आर गुड वी गॉट जॉब ऑफर्स वी लर्न अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स इट इज हेल्पिंग दैम इन डे टू डे वर्क सो इट रियली इंस्पायर्स मी टू मेक मोर वीडियोज and you can expect lot of good content at the same time i think lot of people were asking me that how you went went into amazon right i started my journey as a from a tier 3 college then joined infosys and now today in amazon so i thought it's a good time to share my journey it might inspire some of you which will really a good thing for me so let's start so i think my journey started in 2010 so i graduated in electronics and communication in 2010 and luckily i got placed into infosys so it was in january 2010 i remember uh, we were sitting in a hall for the infosys written exam the good thing about infosys campus selection is there is no technical written or round there is no technical round basically it is logical reasoning and english so me and one of my friends was sitting next to each other and what we did it i i solved all the maths and logical reasoning questions he solved english comprehension and all and we shared the answer and we both got selected so this is how it started actually i was preparing for cat also during that time so i was good in maths english was never very good for me uh, because that time i remember i gave cat also so i got around 85 percentile overall but the problem was in quant my percentile was 99 and but in english is again 42 so i thought i will continue in uh, in tech uh, so so i joined infosys then 2010 december we had a training six uh, around 5 months of training it was fabulous training because being from non cs background it is difficult to get what is happening in the computer science world right so you get to learn from basics everything foundation they will teach you unix sql c java whatever you need to 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 make some base right and it was really fantastic journey i had a stream training in uh, sap abap so i was i was into mangalore actually i got my job into mangalore infosys so after training i was in mangalore for around 3 years so there we waited for around 3 4 months for for the sap abap project but we didn't get anything we were on bench then we were assigned this project uh, in a etl technology okay so from there this etl and data everything is started for me so uh, i was working for a gap client in infosys around 3 years i worked there i started as a pure data stage developer it is a ibm etl tool along with that we used to work on unix and some part of sql very basic sql just to extract data into etl tool very basic not much exposure to sql just we started so i but i got some interest in data like i used to work on etl tool and i i used to enjoy it right joining tables within data stage filtering aggregation it was good so 3 years i worked there after around 2 to 2 and a half year i completed infosys then i started giving interviews so initially i gave interview i remember in cognizant i gave interview i got i was rejected in tcs also i was rejected and couple of more companies i think so around t- two and a half years i was like what i need to do and to be honest i was not doing very great in infosys okay i was very average employee and i was like what to do next right so after that what happened is i i met my life partner also uh, in bangalore infosys and after that i think my life changed i think she bought some luck for me and then what happened i started cracking some interviews so i joined ibm and i moved to bangalore at that time i went to pune actually to give interview for ibm and they asked me question around etl and sql mainly and, and i then moved to ibm and came to bangalore so in bangalore again so overall experience in ibm was not so good we were working for anz australian new zealand client in bangalore and we used to go to anz office only so we used to work from client location 
and there again i was mostly working into data test again not much till here nothing much into sql right and not much anything else mostly data stage data stage but the thing was in one year we worked a lot on data stage more than what i worked in infosys for 3 years i worked a lot on data stage but experience was not so good because in ang you go as a contractor and there are no specific seats for you you have to go there find the seat for you and sometimes it takes time and it was really frustrating so after 6 months of joining ibm i thought let me move from here so i got a offer from cgi and it was a good hike actually so i had put down my paper in ibm but then manager said we will we will do h1b for you and you can just wait for one year so i i i stayed there then i thought let let's try h1b but that it got rejected in lottery so again i what i started searching for jobs now at that point of time i had 4 plus years of experience right now what i feel is at that experience 4 to 6 live 4 to almost 8 years of experience you get lot of opportunity the reason is you know at that point how to get your job done right and your package is also not very high so you are little bit cheap comparatively but you also know how to get work done right so i got opportunity in nas then i got multiple offers at that point of time i joined nas because it was near to my home where i was staying and their package was also good so nas technology is there in kol mangla bangalore i think that was the turning point of my career so till here if you if you see i work mostly into etl data integration projects data warehousing projects right then in nas what happened is it was i worked on some elt projects right it was a and main thing was it was a bi project business intelligence right till here i had not worked on particular any analytics project right it, it was data integration data warehousing mostly into data right but not much analytics so here when i joined i worked on elt projects where they are driving some matrices purely in sql so they have data uh, net is a ibm net is a database for analytics and they used to drive lot of uh, matrices right lot of matrices and there was one guy from the client side alex i remember and he used to write very beautiful sql scripts right so i learned lot of sql from him so i used to see his scripts and i was like wow all these things can be done in sql i never thought that just blew my mind i think that was the turning point of my career also and the first step of falling into love with sql right so then i started learning from his scripts i started writing scripts use uh, uh, seeing his scripts okay he writes like that and then i started following him that okay this is the best practices this is how we should write this is how we can use analytical functions aggregation functions lot of advanced things i learned and i worked for around one and half years there and every day there i enjoyed a lot to be honest i worked on many projects delivered many projects and lot of matrices bi projects it was fun just fun okay and i had no you know a plan to switch uh, but then i got call from g all of a sudden and i got very good opportunity there again in g g they mostly are sql they are only no etl tool nothing just sql they asked and i was interviewed only one telephonic round and one then i went to office and that's it okay and then i thought let's join g it was a big brand general electric right and when i was serving notice period i got opportunity in deloitte as well now again deloitte was near to my home comparatively g so i thought let's join deloitte <laughs> so i joined deloitte and deloitte again is a completely different experience whatever i did in last 6 i had around 6 and 1/2 years of experience when i joined deloitte around 6 6 and 1/2 year this was completely different because i worked into a product development so there is a web application and back end is sap hana and uh, we use apis and all in javascript we used to write and stored procedure and pl sql they are used for the first time right so there what happened is initially for 5 6 months i was like what is happening right i was like this is not the right place for me 
because I worked in Intel and this product development, people are working on browsers, checking what is the error, and then checking in the back end. I was like, this is not a not a place for me. I mean, my skills will not be used. And I thought, let's let's try to change the project. So I started searching for other projects, but didn't get anything in Deloitte. And I was little bit frustrated also at that time. So I started searching outside within five, six months of joining Deloitte. I got an offer, I remember, in Tech Mahindra uh, that point of time. And I had put my papers in Deloitte that point of time. And then I was, I, I, after putting paper, I was feeling a little bit relaxed actually. Because there was no tension now, right? I could easily spend my time because for last two, three months, I was in little bit tension that where I am, this is not the right career for me and all those stuff. And then I was little bit relaxed after putting down the paper and there was two months of notice period. So what I did then, uh, I just started solving some bugs. So during notice period, there, there was some bug session was going on in our product. There was some release coming up and we had to fix around 150, 200 bucks. Okay. So I started solving that, that's some work you have to do, right? So I started solving bugs. So in the browser, I will check what is the error, then go back and search. And I got little bit of interest at that point of time, okay? And I remember one of my manager at that point of time said that, Ankit, you can always leave company. It is an easy option, but you can always try and crack this and then leave. You can leave later also. So that somewhere stuck in my mind. I thought, let's try it. And I stayed there then Deloitte. And I, I, I'm, te I'm telling you from my heart, I had best of my career, best time of my career in Deloitte for next three and a half. I total worked for around four years. And next three, three and a half years was best career time in my full, full, full career. Because first of all, I enjoyed work there. After some point of time, I started getting you know, interest in that. Also, they had an ETL also. I was, I was, I joined as a backend developer probably, but they had an ETL also. So one person from ETL left the job and then, then I took ETL also, right? I started owning ETL and plus backend. So I became end to end, you know, ETL, backend, and I used to work on Lumira also, a BI tool at, at that point. So I really enjoyed that time because managers were supportive, team was beautiful team and we had a lot of cultural activities also in Deloitte we used to have tournaments, cricket tournaments, other kind of stuff and I really really enjoyed my time in Deloitte. So in Deloitte again I worked on ETL, SAP HANA, right, SQL again, SQL, ETL, data warehousing, all this kind of stuff. Now at this point of time I know little bit of Python and Tableau as well. I have not worked on Tableau and Python till now. But uh, in NAS, we had a two-day program on Python, right? Bootcamp kind of thing. And that was really interesting. So when I did Bootcamp, I was like, Python is fun. So I learned Python that point of time. And during that time, I remember I did some course on data science and also I used Python for that course. So I was comfortable with Python. And along with that, uh, I learned Tableau also when I was in Deloitte. So Tableau again, there, there was no work assigned to me as such, but someone was talking about Tableau. I thought, let's see. And when I first worked with Tableau, I was like, this is this is awesome, man. I mean, I will, I'm creating a crash course on Tableau for the beginners. And I'm sure you will fall in love with Tableau if it is your first time. But I'm telling you, it is really easy, intuitive, and very easy to learn if you know SQL especially. So I, I knew Tableau, I knew Python, SQL I knew, I knew data integration, data modeling, all this data related thing, but not much into big data kind of stuff so far. Okay. So then uh, after working in Deloitte, I, this COVID came during that time, right? And we were at home and I was like, I was getting bored little bit because there were no activities work wise also it was kind of saturated for me because I was working for four years in a product and uh, one of my ex-manager in Deloitte uh, referred me in Amazon actually. He joined Amazon few months back that time and he referred me in Amazon. I got a call. 
So I'm like I don't know how it will go because Amazon is a big company. I have not worked on big data, Python and Tableau also. I'm not that super, you know, very 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 strong. Just work little bit here and there. But I thought let's give it. So the I was lucky because I was get I was inter get I was getting hired for the supply chain analytics thing. Okay, so focus was more on data analytics. and less on data engineering right so basically if you see there are two kinds of role in data engineering one is core data engineering where you have to know spark big data and all those stuff and there is second kind of data engineering bi data engineering where you are focused more on data analytics you are building data warehouse you are building data pipelines you are building matrices you are building some you are writing sql code right so i was more always into data engineering bi thing right you you can imagine also because i work i talk about more of analytics in my videos as well so uh, in amazon mostly they ask two things one was sql so in sql they ask lot of questions right and plus python and tableau as well tableau not much uh, i think tableau was not there uh, yeah sql python and then a lot of stuff on data modeling so i had a full interview around on data modeling and data warehousing so maybe we can discuss in some other video full amazon interview experience but yeah i think i was lucky that i got into amazon and it's been la one and a half years in amazon i worked on lot of aws services work on lot of work on redshift they have internal etl tools i work on tableau quicksight and I think overall I have learned lot of things in last one and half year because this is a completely new tech stack for me. AWS I had never seen no certification nothing. This was first time I was working on AWS, so a good learning. And I think overall I am enjoying now. Initially it was tough because the work culture is different in Amazon, but now I am I am enjoying this phase. And as you know I started my content creation journey as well, so I am enjoying that as well. so in my whole journey what i will say is uh, the best part was i just took i was open for opportunities like i was open to do any work i never said no right i worked on different technologies i worked on different kind of projects like i said in deloitte i worked on product development so i was always open i never said i will i will not work on this my skills are not this again i worked in between informatica also there is another etl tool so when opportunity came i said yeah it's good i will learn informatica also i never said that no i know data stage only how can i work so in deloitte uh, in the product etl we were using informatica and backend was sap ana and yeah i was always open for working on new technologies i think that that is the reason uh, the, the the success of my career is because of that i i think i never said no no this is not for me this is not for me i always took it has challenge and opportunity to learn new things and i will advise advise every one of you like that only that be curious learn new things okay whenever new things are coming take it as a challenge take it as a opportunity to learn new things and that is the only way you can survive in this industry because technologies are changing at a fast pace if you are stuck at one place one technology it's not going to help whenever you get opportunity to work on new things do it okay even if you are not getting work just explore new things what is cloud technology what in aws there are free resources nowadays you don't have to spend money in udemy you have courses in 300 400 rupees so always learn and be curious and follow my youtube channel obviously i will be sharing lot of data lot of videos lot of data analytics stuff on tableau python and sql so i am doing already so yeah keep following me keep learning i hope this video will somewhat inspire you or help you to take some decision in your life so yeah have a good time bye bye take care